I just feel like a mess in the winter. I'm sure there is a lot of you that feels the same way when it comes to the winter, that these months just aren't kind to you and that it's very visible and it's kind of hard to fake that sometimes. I feel like when I put makeup on top of this, just as it is, it just still looks so dull. So I kind of wanted to take it from the beginning and just show you guys all of the steps that can really help to just bring that glow out of you. I don't know, I feel like I look at myself and I'm just like, Girl, you need to do something about this. One of those ones where like if you go out with no makeup people are like Are you all right? You look sick and you're just like Just trying to live my life. Karen, you guys are literally seeing it from zero To 100 later on. Skincare is so important. I think ensuring that your skin looks glowy It does come from within in that sense And I feel like I have to take extra care and attention to my skin when it comes to this time of year I notice a massive difference if your skin is really like struggling because my skin's just not seeing the Sun And it's just looking really just not great. It's just not looking great Let's go get our glow on and the first thing is going to the bathroom and sorting out our skin Okay guys, so I am gonna start off by cleansing my crusty looking face <laughs> and I'm just gonna start off with my cleanser and I'm just gonna be applying it all over my skin and then wetting my skin a little bit just to make sure that it moves around a little bit and I'm gonna be using my Foreo Luna Mini 3 today and I am literally so glad that I have found this because I'm not gonna lie I feel like my skin would be honestly lost without it now that I know what it's like to actually use this I feel like it just gives your skin so much more of that extra oomph that your hands just can't do so how I personally like to use this is making sure that it's wet and then I like to go in circular motions and what's great about this is that it actually has an app that you can kind of adjust settings the intensity the amount of time and I just think that's so good it has a cleansing setting and then it also has a glow setting as well and of course because we're going for a glow tip Today, I am gonna make sure that I use that setting today just because I want to give my skin that a little bit extra But what's good about this is that it doesn't just have one setting It does have a choice that you can kind of you know Decide depending on your skin sensitivity levels or just the kind of desire that you have So I'm actually going around in circular motions using the cleansing setting and then I did switch it to the glow setting afterwards Which is definitely a little bit more intense, which is really good to just just make your skin glow. So I do like to remove my cleanser using a flannel and then I'm actually gonna be using a face mask today. I don't do this all the time, it's more so of a treat. And I'm using this one from Ole Henriksen and this is the Fat Glow Facial. Again, this has a lot of like acids in it, which I think is really good um, to just really help to bring that glow out of your skin. So I'm applying the mask all over and this is um, a mask that you're supposed to apply with your hands and apply until it goes white. And then I'm actually gonna be using the Foreo Luna Mini again. Once I've allowed this to sit on my face for a little bit, I'm actually gonna use it to just push this further into the skin and just really work that in. And you guys, the results are just so good. You're gonna see it after. It's so good. Honestly, the Foreo Luna Mini made it so much easier and quicker to make my skin look a lot healthier and I'm just in love with this so I'm actually gonna finish off um, using some serum and some moisturizer now the serum and moisturizer that I'm using has vitamin C in it and I feel like vitamin C is a really good way to bring a glow to your skin I think um, products that have this in although these ones are lightweight they just give your skin that look of hydration and glow and I think that's really important and it just complements the whole cleansing routine I just did really really well um, and I do feel like a serum Serum and a moisturizer are definitely necessary especially this time of year and then the last thing that I do for the winter time is use a gradual tanning mist on the face this is very very subtle I just like to do this underneath makeup and it just keeps my skin looking a little bit glowy it gives it a slight bit of tint and I just feel like it's definitely necessary especially this time of year so I don't know if you guys can see but my skin is looking so much more radiant it's actually a joke. I do have some blemishes and stuff right now, but the glow is real and makeup is just going to look so much better on top of this. Now let's get into the makeup and basically how to maximize this glow. All right, guys, so let's get into the makeup portion. I obviously am starting off with my skin 
prepped and ready to go. I am using this banana primer from Olay Henriksen as well and I'm using this on the skin just because this looks so radiant and I just really love this primer. I am also using uh, the Benefit Pore Professional as well on top of this just because because I've got so much radiance going on I still need to target my other issues which is definitely open pores like I still suffer with that so it's important to still take care of those issues. I do still get oily skin but I'd rather my skin look radiant in this time of year rather than making it look super flat so yeah just making sure to target those pore areas and just pushing this into the skin if we don't have enough glow going on i just want to maximize this even more by applying the pixie glow mist this is just a really nice uh like spray to put underneath and i'm actually mixing together a tinted moisturizer from laura mercier and this illuminator and i just wanted to make sure that i have a really nice base by mixing together a tinted moisturizer and an illuminator it basically emulates that natural sun-kissed tan not quite but it's as much it's, it's as close as we can go you know it kind of has that glow but it also has that tint of you know like a natural tan so now when we put my foundation on top of it it just kind of enhances it rather than just completely trying to use my summer shade on top of my skin i'm using a sponge to blend this in because i don't want it to be too heavy although the foundation i'm using is um a demi matte or a matte finish it's still gonna have that radiance coming through underneath it which is really good it's important for me to still use a foundation that's matte just because i do have oily skin but if you have dry skin then you can definitely use a foundation that works better for your skin type. I'm using concealer under my eyes as normal. I'm making sure to use a bright color just because around this time of year your under eyes can definitely look quite sallow and a little bit just worse for wear. So definitely color correct if you feel like you need to. I didn't feel like I needed to and I wanted to keep it as minimal as possible while still being medium coverage so I skipped it but if you feel like it's needed then definitely color correct if you feel like you need to. I'm just setting my skin as normal using a loose powder and some Something that is different in comparison to what I would normally be doing with bronzing is I'm actually going to be using a cream bronzer underneath my regular powder bronzer. I'm being sure to put a lot on my forehead, also around the cheekbone area, um, and I'm also using a slightly shiny cream bronzer as well on parts of my forehead and my cheekbones. This is just going to, again, kind of fake that kind of tan you get when the sun naturally hits you it hits the high points of your face so your forehead is definitely an area that gets more tan than other areas and also when I eventually bronze with powder bronzer and with blush I'm gonna hit that to the tip of my nose as well because that's another area where you see your skin naturally hit by the sun so you kind of want to make it make it seem like your skin has been hit by the sun using the powder bronzer and also the cream bronzer underneath it I'm just cleaning underneath my contour using a sponge and a loose powder and then I'm going under my eyes using a highlight shade from a highlight and contour palette. This is just going to brighten this area even more. I just feel like my makeup is incomplete unless I do this. And then I am going to be going in with some blush on the apples of my cheeks and also hitting it on the tip of my nose as well. I'm making sure to blend this in. I'm using a color as well that looks quite corally, nothing too... Like not, not a color that's going to kind of wash me out. I want to do something that would look like a color that would naturally come from my skin. So I'm not going to go too much onto the eyes just because it's obviously we're mainly focusing on the skin today and just looking nice and radiant. But I'm just sticking to bronzes, golds, those kind of colors typically just because I feel like, again, that kind of gives you that nice golden glowy look. Um, so I'm deciding to stick with that. I'm using bronzer in my crease, I'm using gold shadows on the lid and just using colors that are really gonna bring out the natural tones that we've been using throughout this whole tutorial on the skin. So because I've kept the eyeshadow simple, I'm gonna go for a thick, fluttery pair of lashes. These are from Tarte Lashes, and these are the TL3s. Before I put them on, I'm of course putting on some mascara, and honestly guys, there is nothing that a good pair of lashes cannot fix. If you feel like you're looking under the weather, if you feel like you're not looking your best, pop on a good pair of lashes, and I can guarantee you that you will feel like you are glowing. I'm not even joking. <laughs> 
Honestly, at this point, I don't even feel like we even need highlighter, but it wouldn't be a glow tutorial without it. So I'm putting on some highlight onto the tops of my cheekbones. And I didn't really feel like it was necessary to put it absolutely everywhere. I went in with my lip color and I have been loving this lip combination lately. I'm applying my cappuccino lip liner as per usual, because it's the best. I'm applying this uh, matte lip color from Maybelline. And then I'm going on top with a lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. I will have, of course, all of the products and stuff that I've used in this video down down below in the description box like all the colors and everything but this combo is just everything i feel like going for a gloss just really transforms it and just this really pretty peachy golden color again just makes it look like you're you're like living in summer aside from me literally wearing a hat i feel like i'm looking like I'm glowing like I just came back from holiday not long ago. So guys that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this slightly different format in comparison to normal. If you like videos like this then be sure to subscribe. I'll definitely be sure to make more as we get into 2020. Can't believe I'm saying that but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Also follow my Instagram and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.